China Post. Stupid Lure 2000, the new model. Came from China. Look at this beauty right here. Oh, fish, yes, come on. How good oh. a fish are we talking? Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. Boy, do I have a treat for you today, a treat. So before I get into this, let's go ahead and do a little story time with Uncle Lojo, okay? <laughs> because as you guys know, Coronavirus Chronicles, this is Coronavirus Country, we're in it, on lockdown. Me and Andrew are standing a nice little six feet apart right now. Yes sir. So maintaining our social distancing, trying to stay away from all other human beings, except each other, right? Because I mean, we can't stay away from each other. Oh, okay. Don't obviously. put that in. Cut it out. <laughs> oh, it's going in. No. Anyway, story time with Lojo. So if you could imagine a world six months ago, right? A land far, far away, long before the coronavirus was ever you know, just screwing everybody up right now. I was cruising around on a website called wish.com, otherwise known as the Wish app, which if you guys don't know what that is, I would highly encourage you to go check it out because they sell all types of stuff on this website. And they sell amongst a million other things. I'm gonna pop some stuff up on the screen right now because they just, they sell all kinds of crazy stuff. But they sell fishing stuff as well. Now I am no stranger to the Wish app as far as fishing gear, I have bought uh, a really cheap topwater frog on the Wish app. I bought an entire combo, like a fishing kit. They had like a rod, a reel, line, lures, everything. We've done videos on this in the past, but this item that I bought six months ago is very unique and there's just a lot of crazy stuff going on with this item. So one thing about Wish, which is kind of a negative thing. Now the positive thing is everything is super cheap on this website. I think this particular lure that I bought was $2, okay? And they have stuff even cheaper than that, if you can imagine. But one of the negatives is it takes forever for these items to ship. And a lot of them are coming from China, or as our good friend Donald Trump would say, China. Now, as you guys may or may not know, the coronavirus supposedly started in China. That's where it came. Now, we don't know where it came from, but it, it first was discovered in China. And then, of course, it migrated to a lot of different countries, but the United States as well. So needless to say, you would be a little nervous if a package arrived from your house right now during all this stuff coming from China. Well, <laughs> I ordered that lure six months ago. I just got it the other day in the middle of all this coronavirus madness. If you guys don't believe me, I'm about to show you the packaging, but before I do, you already know what time it is, Andrew. Whip them out. We're not, we're not taking any chances here, okay? I'm not kidding. This, this package literally came from China, like straight from China in the middle of the corona. I didn't even think we were accepting like shipments from China right now, did you? Well, don't they say that the virus itself dies on a surface after 12 to 18 hours? I don't know. I've heard a couple days that it could live. I don't know. Jesus. All you doctors out there, hit us in the comment section with some knowledge. But either way, man, that's kind of, that's pretty risky, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I mean. It is weird. It's crazy. So let's, let me get this package. All right. So before we show you the lure, now I, I took the courtesy of blocking out or blacking out some of my address and stuff like that. But why don't you just pop on in there, Andrew, get it to focus. Mm. Can you see it? Real good. So let me get over here. So China Post is what the name of, I guess that's their post office maybe? It says from whatever that is, whatever city that is. But we got some nice little Chinese writing right there. We got some more right there. I mean, description of contents, plastic lure. Definitely not made out of plastic, but okay, whatever. <laughs> and uh, there's your little wish post, little stamp right there. Yeah, so this, this came to my house the other day, and needless to say, my wife was not too happy about this. She was like, babe, why are you ordering fishing lures from China right now? And I was like, babe, I ordered that like six months ago. It just took forever because it came from frickingwish.com. So anyways, Andrew and I are going to very carefully use this lure in today's video. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay gloved up. That way I don't uh, get the coronavirus all over my hands because mm. this, this lure, for all I know, it could, could have been packaged by somebody who had it. It could have been in a facility that had it. I don't know, it's probably just dangerous in general to be handling, but I like to live life on the edge. And here we go, guys. Look at this beauty right here. So I don't even remember what the description of this thing was because it was like a freaking year ago when I bought it. Check that thing out. I just thought it was like the coolest looking, it's almost like a lipless crankbait. Oh no, I've stabbed myself. It's almost like a lipless crankbait, but at the same time, it's it's like a blade bait. It's very skinny. I don't know if you can tell how thin it is right there. Oh my gosh. Very nice. thin. It's like a blade bait. It's super heavy too. It's like a half ounce at least. You want to feel it, Andrew? Yeah, dude, give me a feel. 
Oh, you cool. didn't put gloves on. You got the coronavirus. It's Done. too late. You've already got it. Why don't right. you just go ahead and feel it? It's Dude, pretty wow. heavy, right? It's like a dumbbell. Yeah, it's it's pretty freaking heavy. So, oh, I keep poking myself. I keep. It's got the little green eyes too. It's got the little whatever that thing says right there. Can you read that? Proverbs. What? <laughs> What's going on here? Anyways, so uh, yeah. So this is my two dollar coronaviruswish.com lure. Now, obviously, I'm just kidding. I hope there's no coronavirus on this thing, and this is coronavirus is nothing to joke about, but in these times when everybody's kind of going through some stuff, it's nice to make videos like this where we're kind of just downplaying the whole thing, but we are exercising some caution as to not spread this thing anymore. What we are also gonna do, is when we're done with this lure, Andrew, we are going to dispose of it somewhere <laughs> safely to where nobody will ever find it. Deal? Deal. We'll probably snag it on a log out here in five seconds and have to break it off and this <laughs> video will be over before it even begins. But yeah, so that's what we're fishing with today. I'm gonna rig it up on one of my combos. We're gonna chuck it around, see how it looks in the water. I have no idea what kind of action this thing's gonna have. And hopefully it will end up catching a nice bass. There's a lot of big bass in this pond. They're moving up shallow right now. I'm gonna fish this thing like a lipless crankbait. At least that's what I'm thinking and uh it's gonna be interesting one way or another if you guys end up enjoying these videos or you want to see more like wish app or wish.com fishing challenges go ahead and smash that thumbs up button for me get in the comment section and let me know what you want to see on this channel next and finally if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's a red button right below the video join the lojo outdoor fam the best subscribers on youtube but it's time for us to get rigged up we're going to launch the ss minnow johnson me and andrew are going to get in there together last time andrew was in the ss minnow johnson what happened buddy dude i don't even want to get back on well, yeah, maybe I'll show y'all a clip of that right now. <laughs> yeah, he fell out. It's all good. Water under the bridge. So we're not, not gonna, really. we're not gonna do that today. Yeah, right. Let's go fishing. All right, so we're about to rig this thing up. I'm noticing something right away that's very unique about this thing. And that is the three holes right there. I'm assuming that's where you're gonna thread your line to tie it up. There's actually three. Uh, I have no idea why there's three. Maybe it has a different action depending on where you tie it up. So because I don't know, Let's go right through the old middle because it's already way above my pay grade in the fishing department. Um, I imagine that if you rig it in the middle, it's going to have maybe a, uh, a tighter wobble. And maybe if you tie it in the front, maybe it'll have a much more violent, erratic uh, wobble. I, I, it may make no difference. It may just be an aesthetic thing. I don't know. God, these hooks are really sharp. I'll give them that. The old uh, Wish Factory. They know how to put some freaking sharp hooks on a dang weird looking bait. And instead of spitting on it like I normally do, let's just dip it in the water. That way I don't catch Corona directly to the mouth. You know, you don't want to just take it in like that. All right, what we've all been waiting for. We got to see what this thing looks like in the water. You ready, Andrew? All right. Oh, wow. Yeah, that thing, that thing vibrates like crazy. You guys can probably barely see it but it wobbles very erratically. It's got a nice shine to it because it's that silver, you know, uh, plated, whatever you heck you want to call it, blade. So it's, it's got a really nice flash to it, really hard vibration. You know what it feels like? It feels like a dang chatterbait. It vibrates that hard. That's crazy. Yeah, it feels like a, definitely like a chatterbait right now. I don't know, I don't know about this lake, but you gotta wonder how something like this is gonna be received by the local fish population. Well, one thing I like about this lure already is it is it's freaking heavy. I, I didn't see on the packaging what an official weight of it was, and I don't remember from the website how much it weighed, but it's at least a half ounce, wouldn't you say, Andrew? At least. at least, maybe even like three quarters of an ounce. So I can like just effortlessly cast this thing. I mean, it goes as far as I freaking want it to. It's actually almost casting all the line off of my reel. So that's one positive about it. Um, one negative about it being that heavy is when you fish a shallow pond like this one, a lot of grass, a lot of mud, a lot of gunk in the water, a lot of trash, and it can come back like this sometimes if you're not fishing it fast enough. So we may have to seek out some slightly deeper water, but the problem is, from our experience, the fish aren't deep. They're very shallow. So this is going to be one of those challenges. Had I got this lure when I ordered it, it was the fall and fish were just killing bait fish. So this would have been the lure to be throwing at that time. But now we've made up, we're like two seasons behind that now. Oh, fish, yes, come on, let's go, baby. That's a decent fish too. Oh, come on. Oh, we don't have our net. Gosh darn it, we forgot the net on the truck. He's hooked good though. He's hooked good. Oh man, ow, let's go out of the boat. How good oh. a fish are we talking? 
I mean, he's not huge, but he's a, he's kind of like foul hooked on the side of his head, is which is why he's fighting so hard. Oh, dang. We're going to have to flip him. We're going to have to flip him, Andrew. I'm going to flip him in your lap, okay? You ready? No. No, no. <laughs> Ah, oh, get in the boat! Yes! Nice. Okay, he's literally tiny. And he about came unhooked right there too. Look at that. So he had all the hooks in him, but they all came out right there at the end except that last skin hook right there. Holy moly. Wow, we were just talking about how we weren't sure if this thing was gonna work. And this little aggressive male just came out of nowhere and said, you know what guys, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what fish want. You don't know what we like. Man, he looks like he's been caught before. Look at his face, dude. He's got a hole right there, a hole right there. He's got that one that I just gave him. Look at that. He's been freaking tore up recently, bro. They're munching, And dude. they're still munching. Sheesh. Good looking fish, not big. I thought he was bigger because he actually was kind of hooked on the side of the head. You know, they can tend, they can fight a lot harder when they're hooked like that. Boom, fish number one on the Wish app. Straight from China. Hopefully he doesn't have the coronavirus now. Hopefully these bass are kind of immune to it. That was a really stinky fish, by the way. Some fish just tend to stink more than others. <laughs> I don't understand what that is, but the old, what would you call this? What, what, do you, what, what can we call this thing? Is it a blade bait or is it a lipless crank? I don't what, know. What dude. are we calling it? It's it looks, a breed. It's a, what could, oh, he lost an eye. Look at that. One fish and he's already lost one of his green eyes. Wow. See, that's what it's supposed to look like. He's already popped an eye off. One fish, a little one pounder, and this joker has lost an eye. That's not a good sign, but that's kind of the deal with these Wish App lures. It was $2 for goodness sake. And honestly, besides that eye falling off, it seems like it's made pretty well. It's sturdy, the, you know, the metal or whatever that is, the silver, uh, whatever, I don't know, whatever material that is, it seems like it's pretty sturdy. The hooks are really sharp and uh, the eyeballs are just not glued on very well. So I give it a, uh, an A for appearance. I give it a B for, lure design because we're not really sure what it is and i'll give it an overall like a c plus for how it's performing so far of course it did catch a fish so maybe a c plus is not even high enough Ooh, that was a bite that was a bite he got Been swiped there. at he got swiped at something swiped at him could have been a little bluegill or something but something was not too happy that he was back there oh my oh my god Oh, crap. There we go. Come on. Gotta be something right there. I felt it. I mean, something just popped it. Flipping. Flipping the blade bait. Don't mind me. Watch out, turtle. Jesus, I don't want to hook a turtle with this thing. No. No way. I gotta be on something. You see how it went to the left like that? Yeah, it did. Dude, that was weird, man. That was weird. Like, it it didn't feel like a snag. Dude, that was weird. I'll be darned if that wasn't a bite and, like, drug me into that freaking grass. Woo! Getting a little on edge. We're snagging on freaking logs. We're snagging on fish's faces. Things are getting a little tense out here. All right, folks, well, me and Andrew had to wrap things up. That yesterday, kind of ran out of time. We were filming some other stuff. So I'm actually out here with my main man, Logan, from Logan Anderson Fishing, his YouTube channel. And uh, we're out here on a little lake, trying to do a little bit of fishing. And I've got the old crazy wish lure. Logan, you haven't seen it yet. Check this thing out, man. Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking it was. Oh, you've seen it before? Yeah. Okay, well, it, straight from China, coronavirus literally all over it, so I won't <laughs> get it any closer to you. But we were able to catch one fish on it when me and Andrew were out uh, messing around with it. But I was not satisfied with that. So me and Logan are out here doing a little bit more field testing. So let's continue this little expedition. And you know, the lake that me and Andrew were fishing, the fish were not really feeding on bait fish. They weren't really chasing, you know, moving baits. So it just wasn't the best, the best possible situation for this lure. Now this lake, on the other hand, is loaded with fish who are chasing bait currently and we know that because me and logan have been out here a couple times and we <laughs> we've been seeing these dang 
We've been seeing these dang bait and fish crushing them. Now today, I did go ahead and tie up on the first little hole. So, and I am noticing that it has a tighter wobble now. So, I did that with the thought of, oh, is that a fish? Yes, it is. Come on, that feels decent. No way. I was just gonna say I did that because it's so calm. God, he's running right at me. Keep the pressure on him. Oh no, it's not a good fish. He's barely hooked. Oh, it's tiny. But it was the hardest bite I've gotten in a long time. Look how barely that guy was hooked on the outside of the lip. Wow, that's why he felt like he was fighting hard. Oh, he's pooping. No, not on the boat. What is wrapped all over my lure? Where did that stuff come from? Wow, um, yeah. Like I said, <laughs> there's a lot of fish feeding on bait fish out here on this particular lake. And that tighter wobble with this calm weather, like no wind, definitely think it's gonna yield me more bites. And after catching that fish, it's definitely uh, reinforcing what I thought. I have no idea why that fish felt so good. It's really weird. Maybe because he was hooked on the outside of his face. So he was able to really kind of like dig. That was really weird. I could have sworn I was a three or four pounder when I first hooked it. Mm -hmm. That'd be a post. <laughs> Dang it, you always, there's always a moment when you get snagged, just a moment where you really think that it's a giant fish. And I did for a second, I got caught. It's probably this dang dock that was once a dock that's no longer a dock yeah that's exactly what i'm stuck on i don't know if i'm getting this thing back I gotta get it back i got to oh yeah we're good we're good we're good oh this thing does get fouled up quite a bit it's a little frustrating you know since we've run this thing on the front hole in the middle hole I wonder what it's going to look like if we run it on the back hole for a minute. Because if I'm if I'm thinking about this correctly, the back hole should give it like a really wide erratic wobble, right? I mean, that's what it seems like from using the different holes. The middle one definitely had more action than the front one did, which makes sense if you think about the way the weight of the lure is. Here we go, a little the back hole. Let's see what that looks like. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's all jacked up. I was about to say, whoa, that action's crazy. <laughs> it was fouled up on the hooks. <laughs> oh yeah, much, much more action. Like it shakes like crazy. Now it's super calm out here. Like I said, I don't know if that's gonna help or hurt my scenario, but I think it would be cool if we could catch a fish on all three of the different tying points, you know? It's kind of, that's what this challenge has developed into to see if we can catch three fish, one on each hole that you can tie up to. Fish, feels decent. Come on, buddy. This would complete the challenge right here. Come on now, we can't lose you, buddy. Oh, he came off. Gosh darn it. That would have been the winning fish. That's why I shouldn't have even said anything. As soon as I hooked him, I should have just played it cool. I mean, he didn't even jump. He just kind of spit the hooks. Hmm. The hooks on this thing, they're, they're, they're pretty sharp. I thought they were really sharp when we first started, but upon further review, and every time I ding off a rock or a piece of wood or catch a fish, it seems like they kind of lose their, their really sharp points. Dang it. I shouldn't have said anything. I jinxed the heck out of hell. Oh, Logan, I had the winning fish right here, man. And that would have been it. Did I catch him? No. Gosh, no. Mm. Fish. Come on, buddy. Stay hooked now. Don't do anything crazy. We might have to net him just to get the dub. Just, just to get, just to be done with this challenge. Oh, I'm gonna, 
<laughs> he's not big enough to need the net but by golly we got him and that's it i'm calling this challenge <laughs> i'm calling it right now look at that he fell right off too yep 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 mm -hmm. that's right you tell those mean fishermen who's boss all right mister thank you so much for eating this ridiculously crazy looking wish app lure i appreciate you more than you know i also appreciate the fact that i don't have to throw this lure anymore right where those bubbles are still i want logan to catch this beast while i'm over here fishing with a freaking stupid lure 2000 the new model there you guys have it the coronavirus chronicles as far as lures go and uh big shout out to andrew for taking part in the first part of this little journey with this wish app fishing lure and another big shout out to logan anderson fishing right there who brought me to his lake to finish the little challenge so we ended up catching three fish one on each tie that was was available on the lure one of the weirdest designs i've ever seen on a lure and we had a fourth fish that we lost well it was the third fish at that time but we ended up losing it at the boat you know it's a two dollar lure what do you expect you know it's from china it's on the wish app it was six months late for goodness sake so i wasn't expecting a top-notch lure and that's exactly what i got was a two dollar weird random lure off the wish app but regardless i had a lot of fun hopefully you guys did too hopefully you guys are uh making the best of being at home you know stay at home order uh you know i don't know how that's going to affect me we finally got to stay at home a uh, stay at home order today now of course this video is filmed i don't know when it's going to come out on youtube but this video was filmed um in early april and we got a stay at home order finally for the state of alabama but it doesn't take place until five o'clock p.m tonight so i'm not violating it yet um, i'm gonna have to read through it and see what it says that way we can see if fishing if i'm by myself is still allowed i'm not really sure we we'll have to see what the governor says and all that crap but anyways hopefully you guys are staying safe out there staying occupied and making the best of the situation the best you can i mean it's a crappy situation there's no doubt a lot of people losing their jobs a lot of people don't have anything to do with their kids um, that's what me and my wife are struggling with that because my wife's still working from home i'm still working obviously and we've got all three kids at home so that's a that's a lot on our plate as so i'm sure there's a lot on you guys's plate too i wish you all the best if you enjoyed this video make sure you smash the thumbs up button let me know if you want to see more videos like it i'm going to continue to try to put content out throughout this entire coronavirus craziness just simply so you guys have at least something to do during your day you know i'm very flattered that you guys choose to come to my channel and be with me for you know 15 20 minutes a day or whatever so i'm going to continue to make content just for that reason plus i just love making youtube vision videos just what i love to do anyways folks i am getting out of here on to the next outdoor adventure fist bump i'm out <laughs>